Tesla just discontinued its Model 3 standard range rear wheel drive from its website and the pre-existing Model 3 long range rear wheel drive is now the entry level trim. Wow. So a few days ago, the Biden administration raised tariffs on Chinese EVs imported to the US to 100% and on lithium ion batteries and parts to 25%. What that means is although the Model 3 rear wheel drive was built in California, it used a Chinese LFP battery, so it didn't qualify for the $7,500 federal EV credit. The Model 3 long range rear wheel drive with its NMC battery did. Tesla thought, budget, let's drop the standard range altogether since it won't be as affordable. And that's the end of that chapter. In the US, it's maybe not as huge of a deal as the standard range was only $3,500 cheaper. And at the time, both qualified for the federal tax rebate. However, in Canada, this new price point for the long range rear wheel drive model of almost $55,000 bumps it out of range for qualifying for the additional $4,000 provincial rebate. So not only is the base model Model 3 on the Tesla website now $5,000 more, you can no longer get the $4,000 rebate if you are eligible, making the vehicle cost $9,000 more than it did just a few days ago. This is unfortunate for a lot of people because like I said in videos I just made, the LFP standard range model was under 50 grand and was perhaps the best bang for the buck you could get. Now, I mean, while it's still a fantastic car and gets insane range, it's at a different price point with different competition. I still think it's a fantastic vehicle, but it's not at the same level of value it was before. I wanted to make this video to say that I still stand behind what I said in my recent videos. I think that the base model Model 3 is still outstanding, but despite having more range, the price point makes it harder to immediately recommend, especially if you did qualify for those additional rebates, depending on where you live for the original price. Also in my rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive video where I compare features, again, while the battery segment is now irrelevant, I think the main points in the video still are are very valid and for anyone considering those two options that video will be helpful when deciding which one to get. That's it for today. I just couldn't believe that news since I just got this vehicle and have been making videos about it. I still love having our new Tesla and recommend them. They're great. Just now the most affordable entry level ones with the arguably the most reliable battery type is no more and that's a bummer. What do you think about the whole situation? Do you think it'll hurt Tesla in any way? I have a feeling this will affect sales in Canada because of the additional provincial rebates, but what about from where you're from? Do you think these changes will make a difference? Let me know in the comments below. I'm not gonna lie, the Model 3 is still blowing my mind and I'm gonna talk about a feature that wows everyone when they see it. That video should be ready shortly and I'll link it here once it's done. In case you missed my rear wheel drive versus all wheel drive video, you can see that here. Otherwise, here's what YouTube thinks you'd like to watch next. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on The Sad Life.